Hi everyone, my name's Juliette and today I'm doing a run through of a basic ebook compile in Scrivener 3 for Windows, starting with the default settings to see what happens and what pitfalls I plumb it into, and going from there to an ebook format I'm happy with using basic settings and minimal use of special formatting. Hopefully doing it this way will help you to see the ways you can sort out any problems that you might come across. So I started off by increasing the number of chapters and scenes in my dummy book and adding a back matter folder so that this was more like a real book, but I let the hierarchical section type structure define what those extras were. Then I opened up Compile. On the face of it, everything in the structure seemed fine. I decided to create the ebook in EPUB 3 because that's what I'll need for all uploads in the future. Then I selected front and back matter. As a side note, there is a specific back matter icon that appears at the top of the icon list. I'm not sure if that relates to a default or not, but it does make the folder more recognisable. Next, I looked at all the ebook format settings at the top of the panel to see if there was anything I needed to do. Of course, metadata was missing, so I added a book title and author name. The book cover was already selected as the tutorial one, so I left that in place. And that was it. I clicked Compile. Twice. Yes, I decided to generate an EPUB and a MOBI file for comparison. So, here are the files. My EPUB defaulted to opening in Kindle Previewer, the previewer has to churn away for a while to convert the file. It does this with Mobi as well. Be assured it takes a lot longer than in this video, and it goes blank for a while after the churning before the file appears. At first glance, the book looks pretty good. All the pages are there. And there's one thing I'm really happy about, and that's that the first paragraph of every scene is not indented. That means I don't have to override the formatting, because it's doing it for me. That's a huge tick for me. I'm not sure I particularly want that heading style. I think it looks odd because the lines are a different width to the main text, but you may disagree. The fact that I didn't do any manual assigning of section types to the additions I made didn't affect the compile for the chapters. They came out fine, except of course for the back matter. I should have changed the type for that folder. You live and learn. But because I made this mistake, you won't. Chapter title, it seems, means it will put chapter in the title and consecutively number them in words, which answers another question I had. This section type isn't taking the titles from the folder titles. For those who don't know, you can usually give your chapters custom titles by using them as the folder names. Perhaps if I'd chosen another section type, it would have done that more investigating to be done. The Kindle file, which I've opened here into the Kindle app, looks no different. And finally, this is the EPUB file opened into Adobe Digital Editions, and that looks fine too. Okay, back to the drawing board to sort out the issues. These are the things I'm going to investigate. One how to ensure the back matter has the correct formatting. I guess the front matter might be my clue there. Two, I want to see if there are any other section types that will automatically give me chapter titles taken from folder titles. Three, I want to see what options there are for scene breaks. The spacing seems a little small to me, and I also want to see what options there are for inserting symbols between them. I think though that we can agree that the EPUB and the MOBI formats give exactly the same results. So from now on, I'll only be creating an EPUB file. Looking at the formatting of the front matter, it has NA selected, but there is an actual front matter option in the section types. So I'm going to select that to see if it makes a difference. But back matter is different. It's usually formatted like a chapter, but not a chapter. Here I'm going to try changing the section type to chapter. Remember, 
I'm just using the default setup here. If I were assigning different layouts, that could give me more options. Looking in the compile window, I can find nothing that mentions separators, other than in the window where you can create new layouts, so I'm going to leave that alone for now. Let's generate a new file. So, first conclusion, don't mix your section types within your main chapters, or your chapter numbers will get screwed up. I have two chapter ones. However, the first one, that has a number one, is where I chose the heading section type. This has clearly taken my title from the folder title, because that was how it was written. If we go to the back and look at the back matter, for which I selected the simple chapter option, it has still continued with chapter numbering. Back to Scrivener, I'm going to change a few titles and compile a new file. First up, I'm naming all the chapters so that we can see for sure that I'm right, and changing them all to the headings section type. And that works. This format would be a usable ebook. But now I'm thinking, what about if you want chapter number and custom chapter title? Time to look at the layouts in the compile window. There are lots of options in section layouts. My next experiment is to try selecting a different layout style for my headings section type and see what happens. We're back to that problem we had at the beginning, with chapter details on back matter. Duh. But we do have chapter numbers and custom titles. So, of course, we need to have different section types for chapters and back matter items. Does it make a difference which of the section types relating to chapters and headings I choose? Actually, I don't think so, not if I'm going for custom layouts. As long as the chapter headings and back matter are different, I think I'll be okay. That looks good in the layouts window. And it's fine in the ebook, if you like the standard title options, of course. It seems that any layout that says section title will take your folder title. I see there are some main text layouts that do this too. Any layout that states chapter or has a number will number your chapters consecutively. So in conclusion, choosing your section types is important, but you can use them in different ways depending on what output you want. If all you want to do is to have your folder titles appear as the chapters in your book and do an auto-generate without any other change of formatting layouts, choose headings for your titles and this will create a usable ebook for you. If all you want is chapter numbering and a different heading for back matter, choose chapter heading for the chapters and heading for the back matter. However, if you want something more complex, such as chapter numbers and titles, you are, as far as I can see, going to have to go into the section layout options and choose the format you want. But make sure that you choose different section types and layouts for main text and back matter. I hope watching me work through this has helped you decide on how you want to set up your compile formats. Of course, this was only a very basic ebook, and I'll be investigating more complicated structures in future videos. There are bound to be unexpected things along the way. If you have any specific questions, please put them down below, and I'll try to answer them directly. But it may be necessary to do some experimenting, in which case I'll create another video.
Thanks for watching, and if you've subscribed, I'll see you again next time.